Okay, this is my 60 plate dry cell. It is made out of 8 by 8 316 L grade stainless steel. Um, the way I have wired it is to run on both 120 and on 13 and a half volt or in a car. So the way it's working on 120 volts right now is it's going from the panel box through the wire into this bridge rectifier. This is a 90 amp uh, bridge rectifier. It takes the AC current and converts it into DC current, which is what it needs to be in order for electrolysis to occur. So it's taking 120 volts right now, converting it to DC, and the leads, the power leads right now, are just on either end of the cell. So there's a power lead on this end, a power lead on this end. Um, it doesn't really matter which power lead would be positive or negative since they're just on the ends. But um, So that's how it's wired right now. And I'm measuring... Um, the current after the bridge rectifier, so a straight DC current or amperage into the cell right now, and it is hitting about 6.1, 6.2 amps. Now, I'll go ahead and show the voltage. Um, if you'd hold that. So I'll change it over to voltage, and I'm going to measure the AC voltage. So you want to look at that screen. So we go from the AC current right here. It is measuring 121 volts even. Pretty much. Right there, 121. So, 121 volts. And then I'll put it back to the amps for... The DC right here after the bridge direct prior. So I'm measuring the amperage, so it measures um, what actually goes to the cell because the bridge rectifier takes a little power to convert it, and I'm going to test the cell itself and not um, compare the AC current. So it's drawing 6.3 amps now, 6.2, 6.3. The way I'm measuring this now is with this bottle right here um, I've measured one liter of um, space between the bottom mark and the top mark I began with uh, filling the bottle to that bottom mark with and then I took um, I took a measuring cup and I put in two 500 milliliters uh, of water which is going to be equal to one liter and I filled it from that line and then after I added that liter I made another line I went ahead and I drilled holes in the bottom of the bottle so that way now it's completely full with water so whenever I start um, pumping the hydrogen and whenever I connect the hose um, I will time it whenever it pushes the water out through the bottom and whenever it hits this line I'll start the timer and whenever it hits the next line I stop the timer that means that it would have filled between there and there with hydrogen which is one liter per minute or one liter and then I'll time how long it takes okay so I'm about to do that hold it, hold it right about here okay and I'm gonna use the stopwatch right here to do so so um, I got my line in right here line to the bottom right there <coughs> so we're drawing we're already at six and a half amps because as the water warms as the cell runs the water gets slightly warmer and while it's warming for reasons I haven't figured out yet it um, draws more current and if it draws more current it produces more hydrogen so right around 6.6 .6 seems to be stable 
Um, right here's the stopwatch, and um, Deanna, whenever I pick it up, just measure the stopwatch and that. So I go ahead, I connect it. It'll take a second for the hydrogen to get flowing, and then we'll time it. So I've made the connection, and then the hydrogen's flowing. It reaches the mark. I start it. And Deanna, you want to get make sure you can see all the bottom line and the stopwatch at the same time. So it reaches the bottom mark. I stop it. It took 13.3 seconds. So now we're, we're going to go ahead and do the math. Sorry about that. I go ahead and do the math. 13.3 seconds. So we have. 13.3 seconds and we'll write that down. So we have 13.3 Okay, sorry about that. So we pull up the calculator and it was 13.3 seconds. So we see how much that is of a minute. So we do 13.3 divided by 60. That's point two two one six 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 seven. So that's the percentage out of a minute. So we do that. We do one minute divided by point two two one six 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 seven equals four point five one liters per minute and um, so we have 121 volts times um, the 6.6 .6 amps and then divided by how many liters per minute that is so 121 volts times 6.6 .6 amps that's 798 watts, and then we want to know how many watts per liter, so we divide it by 0.51 equals 177 watts per liter. Now that number varies slightly um, with uh, each test, depending on how much it's producing. The cell seems to get more efficient the higher, the more hydrogen we produce. But 177 watts per liter is a pretty good number right there. And um, that's my video for now. Thank you.